Hi everyone, welcome to Easy Drive channel. If today is the first time you are watching my video, like, subscribe and share so you will get notified whenever I post a new video. Today we are looking at Nome Sula Circulazione dei Veicoli, Regulations on Vehicle Traffic. Regulations on Vehicle Traffic. Comportamenti per una corretto uso della strada. Conduct for the correct use of road. Conduct for the correct use of road. Some of the things we are going to be looking at today is uh, incrocio con un veicolo con luce abalianti accesa. You see, that, is, that means when you are encountering a vehicle with headlight on, that is the full beam. When a vehicle is driving on the full beam, it's called the high beam beam. So it's, it, it means something like this. This is the signal for luce abalianti. Mind you, Luce Abalianti is not something that is so nice for you to be moving on with. So there are some cases where you can use it. It, can, it is something that you can use while you are outside the city center where the, the, life, the public uh, light is not sufficient. So then you can also use it when you are not being, when you are not coming across other vehicle, when you are moving alone on the road. So immediately you are coming across another vehicle, you have to go to the low beam, which is called Luce and Abaliante. So this is what Luce Abaliante look like at night when you are moving on it. To you that is driving on Luce Abaliante, it, it looks very nice. It looks very good because you are seeing everywhere, everything is clear. But mind you, this is exactly what you are causing for other people. This is exactly what you are causing for other people. So when you see uh, confront vehicles that, that are moving on Luce Abaliante like this, so things that you must do, First thing you need to do when you see that a vehicle did not uh, dim its light for you. First thing you need to do is to slow down. Then another thing you can also do is to try as much as possible to look away from the light. Don't look directly into the light to avoid more flashes. Then if necessary, you can stop if necessary. Then avoid changing lane. Avoid changing lane. Bruscamente, that's when they said you should avoid changing Cosia Bruscamente. It means that sudden change of lane. Like for instance, you, you are not even sure of where it's coming from. Like you, you, you lose control. For you to change lane, you better stop. Then another thing you must avoid is not to also turn on your Lucia Abaliante. So you, you were on a low beam, the person refused to dim his life for you. It is not a good exercise for you to uh, uh, reciprocate to the person by turning on your eye beam. It costs more because it's more danger. I remember when I was driving, uh, when 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 I went to Africa, I I have some people in, within the car, so everybody move like this on, on on some particular country which I don't want to mention. Like he, people inside my car was telling me, no, this is how we drive here. You have to own your full light. Uh, so I was telling them the implication because the implication is that if you you are seeing this guy this way, you are not even seeing the road, you are not even seeing the vehicle clearly. All you see is light. And if you have to do the same thing to him, it costs it create more danger. Because at, as he is now, remember this is how he's seen. He's seen everything, he's seen you. But if you have to make him feel like this also, the both of you will not see each other again. So the danger becomes higher. But at, like this, he's seen you, even if you are not seeing him clearly, he, he, at least the danger is lower. Because if you are going towards him, he, he, might, he, he might also stop or dodge you. So it is better for you not to do the same thing that he did. So this is the symbol of Luce and Abaliante. Remember, I said this is Abaliante. Abaliante is not good. It's Abalare, your hockey. So that is how you have to remember it. Like, it is not a good thing. When they say something, Abalare, your, it means that it's flashes. So Abaliante is the flashlight, the full flashlight, Abaliante. And Abaliante, just look at it like anti Abaliante, like an Abaliante. So that is to show that it, this one is not Abaliante. So I remember green. Colors are always something that are normal. In vehicles, green colors are normal. Green colors are supposed to be normal everywhere in the world. But some countries flag as green, but their leaders are not normal. This is what Lucia and Abaliante looks like while you are driving. This is the low beam. It's called low beam in English. And Abaliante. This is exactly what it looks like when confronting a vehicle driving on an Abaliante. The low beam so you can still see it everywhere he's also seeing where he's going to so this is what we expect normal vehicles to drive on when you are confronting another vehicle or when you are driving in area where there are sufficient public lights 
So now we now move on to comportamenti in caso di traffico intenso. Conduct on every traffic. When the traffic is heavy, when there is odor, when there is go slow, when there is call there. So things that you must do, things you must not do. When there is heavy traffic, you must not change. try to change lane often. Like you must not try to change from one lane to the other. Maybe this, this lane is moving faster, you have to run to that lane. Then in the next one minute, the other lane moves faster. You want to change the lane to the other lane. So it is something you must not do. I know that thing you must not you, you must not do. Don't reduce your safety distance. You have to keep your safety distance. That's why there is odor. So you have, you don't have to go bomber to bomber with other road users. You don't have to go too close to other vehicles. Then something that is allowed for you to do is when you are on a normal ground, you cannot use the Cosia the emergency, even if there is traffic, uh, heavy traffic. So and also remember that. The reserve lane for buses, even if there's heavy traffic, you cannot go there. The, the reserve lane for public buses and taxi. So any reserve lane are to be avoided, while, even while there is heavy traffic. So even Kosia the emergency is to be avoided. So the only way you can use Kosia the emergency, you see this indication sign pointing to Venezia. It, it's saying that 500 meters for people going to Venezia, they have to excite from the autostrada. Before the exit point, if you're uh, immediately you pass this indication sign that shows that you are less than 500 meters to your exit then you can use the Cosia the emergency to exit from the road to exit from the road circulation the vehicle Masha pe file parallel so when we say para when vehicles are moving on file parallel it means that the vehicle are using multi-lane at a particular time that is they are driving side by side this is what it look like it look like the, the vehicles that are driving side by side so normally it is not allowed for vehicle to move in this manner but there are some cases where it is allowed for vehicle to move in this manner cases like when there is tra a traffic light when they are approaching a, 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 a junction controlled by the traffic officer when there is traffic intense so which is every traffic so you see vehicles moving from one one line they will not share themselves among the line but immediately you the traffic gets better everybody moves back to one lane which is Cosia de Masha normal that is the first lane by your right so that is the normal lane that is meant for driving but filler parallel are allowed on these cases Odor, traffic light or junction controlled by traffic then another way is when uh, you get to a junction where you have to keep to different lane depends on the direction you are going to so you can move on filler parallel so then another thing i want to quickly say you know overtaking is not allowed normally from the right overtaking is not allowed from the right so on one on condition where overtaking is allowed from the right is when the vehicle at your front have indicated a turn to the left and he has started his maneuver by turning to the left so then the vehicle moves to the middle of the road and you can now overtake that vehicle from the right that's the only condition so but in this case of traffic intenso when when there is odor you see that some lane will move more than one another lane so if, if the right lane is moving faster than people at the left the, you continue moving along with your lane you will be passing those ones at the left so it doesn't really mean that you are overtaking yes it, is, it looks as if you are overtaking from the right but it is the situation of the traffic at that particular time so it's different from when you are driving on the high speed when there are no uh, odors you just overtake from the right it's very wrong So that is what I just explained. So Paso Adestra, that is, those are the cases where overtaking are allowed from the right. So normally overtaking is not allowed from the right. Uso the signalation acoustical. This is the use of acoustic signal, which is, which is on. On in Italian is called classical. So it, it, it is something that you, you, you don't use anyhow. Uh, we, in some countries, they use it to greet each other. They use it to, they, they use it to insult each other. Self. So, but here, we don't drive using our own any uh, places that you are not expected to use your own are uh, in the front of the court in the school premises area then in the hospital areas and every other case that it is not necessary so those places that i just mentioned you can only use it when it is extremely necessary necessary in, in case of an immediate danger like for instance somebody is pressing his telephone and is leaving his lane coming towards you, you know, even if you are in the front of the court you can you can blow your own just to Allow the person to go back to his lane. So those are cases of immediate dangers. So if if a police officer is driving behind you and you they see the reasons why you blow your own, it will not be a problem. 
But if you blow your own in those areas for no just cause, they will penalize you for that. So I also want to use the opportunity to also say that one good thing about driving in a civilized country is that you will learn from others, other people. I remember there was one day my own was malfunctioning and the thing was just blowing on its own without me touching it. So I was so ashamed of myself. Like everybody was just looking at me. The way people were saying like, like, what is wrong with this guy? I was so ashamed. I was even shouting and telling everyone that it's not me. I'm not the one blowing the horn. That is how bad it can look. Because if you see the way other people comport themselves on the road, I believe that you will not want to be exempted. So you will want to do the same thing. So quickly, I place this quiz here. This quiz is talking about when you, when we are all waiting for this, all vehicles are waiting for the traffic to turn green. So immediately the traffic light turn green, it is forbidden for you to use, to blow on, to alert the driver that come, you have to move it turn green. But I don't really, a lot of people do this a lot. Like if they wait for you, like five seconds, you are, you are not really moving where the traffic is green already, they will blow on. But it is forbidden. If you see this in the quiz, it is well, because in this quiz is saying that it is forbidden. Say the century habitat of the title is also the signalization across the pay solicitare e conducenti the vehicolo che prendere a riprendere la marcia quando il semaforo diventa verde. So if you, you you don't have to use your own to remind them to move again. So it's forbidden. Don't ask me why. Cotel. Cotel means procession procession in another word means protest when people are protesting you can call it riot or whatsoever name you know it for so in case of protection this is the definition of prote- uh, protest in italian seguito da persone che sfilano ordinamente per prendere parte in a una sol- solennità civile or a una ceremonia privata like funeral like people that are they, you see people parking that's moving on the middle of the road like probably for ceremony like it might be a marriage ceremony, it might be a funeral ceremony, or per compiere una demonstration. So when, when, we, when we go for demonstration like Savini do this, Savini do that, you see people parking out. So those are called cartel. So it is, there is a particular, like if you meet people like this on the road, you, you must be very vigilant. You must not try to drive within them by force, like you must not try to eat them with your car. You must be very extremely vigilant. Guida the vehicle at elevata station. I driving a high performance vehicle. You, you you remember that in the first year of having your driver's license, they they are they, they restrict you to some categories of vehicle based on their engine power. So he, now they are not talking about driving a, a big, powerful car. So you remember that people that drive every cars take more motor because the the speed is very high, the pre, the precision is very is very precise. Like it pick very fast. So the the things that is expected of them is to still re- maintain the rules and regulation of the road, drive within the rules and regulation of the road. So you don't have to say because your vehicle moves and run up to two sixty, then you will not be moving on two hundred. At a constant speed, it is not right. You have to see respect the general rules and regulations of the road. So then, another thing the expect of a, a driving vehicle is for you to do everything every other vehicle do. Use your pressure while you are changing your lanes. You have to when while you are turning right, use everything. So those things are on the quiz. So if you see that they are saying that a high performance vehicle have to, to do this, just look at it. Like if your if, if a motorcycle have to do respect that law, the high performance vehicle also have to respect the law. So that's just the key to those questions, those, those quiz related to this one. Positioning the vehicle is la carriage. So positioning vehicles on the on the carriageway. So normally they expect a vehicle to position as close as possible to the right margin. That is the right margin on the road. So they are, they expect you to keep to the right hand side. Of the road not going too close to the middle so it's safer to drive on the right hand side very close to the white margin on the right hand side of the road strada at una carriageata that is they're talking about a road with one carriageway this is an example of a road with one carriageway when you see that they're talking about a road with one carriageway have this in your mind so like you see this place now that the road is strategic the middle of the road is strategic it's linear discontinuous you can overtake here and you can also do inversion the marsha if the road is a doppio sensor. 
increase this is what it look like single carriageway this one has two lanes so the uh, una carriageata con due cosia so this is what the, the, the figure will look like in the quiz. This one has two carriageways. It's sorry, uh, uh, four cosia, but it is one carriageway. Even if you have three lanes to each direction, it is still one carriageway because it is just a white line that demarcates it. This is what it looks like in quiz. Because look at the, the demarcation, it's just two double white lines. So it has two lanes to each direction, but it is still one carriageway because it is not a solid material that demarcated the directions of the road this is what it looked like in quiz strata divasa in dual carriageata separate when we say a road is divided in two carriageways this is what it means in the quiz look at the difference the the demarcator here in on the picture is now green but in this case the demarcator is white just white line so this one now i always remember it like the feed on the green this is what it looked like on the railroad look at it you see the middle you see grasses on the middle so that's to show that it is a solid material that demarcates the two carriageway so just use the, the green on, on in between to remember the grass so that was how i remember them during my quiz time strata divisa into a carriageata separator so when the road is divided into three carriageway look at the green here green here so it, it's there are some quiz that always come concerning the middle part of this carriageway the middle part of this carriageway just have two lanes to each direction two lanes to each direction in the middle part of this carriageway so why the the other side of the road look at this one can give you a, a clearer explanation this one have cosia the guida normales cosia the surpasso look at this one normale and surpasso then that, that is how the middle carriageway has is has a, a two lane each going to each direction Circulation is to strata con binary the tram araso. You know when the, when you are driving on the road where we have the tram rail, it's just level with the road. Like we have some such roads in uh, Torino, you can where, where cars are permitted to drive. You can drive across the tram road. You can drive in the front of the tram. You can drive at the back of the tram. So it's it's not like the tram is separated from from the the car. Where they use it together because everything is leveled together. So that 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 is what it means when they said. Circulation is to strata combinary the tram araso level tram road with tram lane at road level. Emissione or uscita de la fluso de la circulation. We are joining a, a, a road or exiting from the traffic flow. So remember when you want to join the road, you have to give the right of way to the people you meet using the road already. So while leaving the road also if you are living from a high speed road like Autostrada or Strada Estrabona Principale, they always have Cosia de Deceleracion for you to leave. While you are joining them, they have Cosia de Aceleracion. Cambio de Cosia. You know, we have reasons, different reasons to change lane. Like, for instance, you want to change lane based on the direction that you are going to at, at a particular junction. So, what they expect of you, you first thing you, you must do, you control, you look at your side mirror, look at your center mirror. Then you put on your fresh air direction, so indicator the direction, which is called fresh air, trafficator in English. So you put it on so that people will notice that you want to change from your lane to another lane. Then, Svota means Tony. Svota means Tony. So we should keep this in mind while talking about changing of lane. Invasion de Marsha. Invasion de, de Marsha means when someone wants to make a U-turn, it is different from retromarsha. Retromarsha is re reversed when vehicle is moving towards the back direction. But when you want to make a U-turn, it's when you turn the vehicle and face the direction you are coming from. So there are two different things. Retromarsha is just put it on a reverse jar and, and be looking at your back and the vehicle will be going back instead of, instead of the original front you were going. So if you're the marsha, expect you to give right of way to everybody that is using the road. And moreover, you have to do your inversion where the linear, the the marketer is uh, strategized. That is linear discontinuous. You cannot do inversion the marsha where the linear is continuous. There's another quiz that will also tell you that it will, it will show you a linear continuous discontinuous road and tell you that the road is a one-way road, that it, it is possible for you to do inversion. It's faster because if that road is a one-way road, how can you now be reversing back facing the opposite direction where no vehicles can go? So they expect you to also use your 
uh, indicator the direction which is traffic data while you are doing inversion in the match so that people can know your intentions convoy military cotter that is convoy military convoy or even some sometimes if you see uh, uh, funeral convoy also so you are you don't you cannot stay you cannot overtake and, stay, and divide them so you cannot even overtake them comportamental agrincrocio agrincrocio conduct at the junction so what they expect you to do in the junction is to make uh, a give give the right of way to whoever that is coming from your right hand side give them the right of way because that is the general rules of the of the road so if in the absence of signs of presidentials or traffic lights or traffic agents give the right of way to whoever that is coming from your right hand side in crucial con circulation so this one is very simple the the, the fresher your like here in italy if we are moving anti anti-clockwise in the roundabout we are moving anti-clock so why country that drive on the left part of the road like the uk they move clockwise at their roundabout so you will see before you get into a roundabout you will see the arrows that is telling you how to move on the roundabout and uh, there, uh, there is also a question that will tell you that the people inside the roundabout always have the right of way it is because before you enter the roundabout there is always a giveaway at every junction to the roundabout so in, in that sense of those giveaway it automatically you you have the right of way no mess will have presidential rules governing the right of way those rules are um like for instance two vehicles there are two categories of vehicles that we meet in a particular place that one will have the right of way more than the other one so apart from the fact that i already mentioned that you have to give the right of way to people coming from your right hand side so there are also cases where we are we want to look about to know people with the right of way comportmental that condition in the conformity that paired on it Whenever you are confronting the, the pedestrians, you always give them the right of way. You also always be careful with them. This one is what I was trying to say earlier on. In crucial tri vehicle in the passage in Gombrati as Sustrada de Montagna. Like when you, two vehicles are meeting in a very tight place, where when it cannot be convenient for the two of them to pass at the same time, what they need to do? First, the right of way belongs to somebody that is ascending, that somebody that is climbing the hill. So the person that is descending will have to make reverse for the person that is climbing. So if if um, the vehicles categories, the like if two vehicles meet on the same spot, and it is a level ground, like there is no hill, there is no slope, the, the categories of the vehicle will not determine. Like if a car meets an autobus, the car will make you turn because autobus is longer. If an autobus meet, meet auto articulati, auto uh, autobus will make U-turn because it is longer. So just look at it. The longer they have, the shorter they have, the less right of way they have in such conditions. So the one that have the right of way overall is auto train or because it's, it's the longest of all road categories. Obligi vessel evacuate the police and incendio auto ambulance so all these ones all these categories of vehicle they are just like normal vehicle when they are not on duty so but whenever they are on duty you give them the right of way you make sure that they you you create the atmosphere for them to get to where they are going on time but whenever they are not on duty they are just like you uso degli specchi retrovisori we are talking about when we say specchi retrovisori we are talking about the center mirror The center mirror. Specky retrovisori su auto vehicle, auto vehicle leggeri. So they are talking about the glasses that you use to look at the, the the back of your vehicle. Then they also mentioned this one. Specky retrovisori are vehicle contour water. Talking about motorcycles and their uh, side view glasses. So their rear view glasses. So one thing that is special about these motorcycles is that their glasses are not always on the same position every time because it is attached to the uh, handle. So while you are turning the handle of the uh, of the motorcycles, you, you will see that the glasses at that particular time will not be positioning to the right direction. In mancato respeto de la norma prescrita per imitarse de refluso de circulación, comporta tra y la perita de punti. It's true because 
uh, when you when you lack the respect of all the rules and regulations to joining and the leaving of the road, you might lose your points apart from other sanctions that might be added to it. So then this one is also very important. Like you see this three vehicle, vehicle B, E, S, which is blue, red, and green. The red and the green are parking very well, but this blue, your driver is not parking very well. So at least anytime they visually pass like this, they will penalize the, the driver. So then things to remember where you, where you are parking like this and you want to rejoin the road again, you have to put into consideration the directions of vehicle that are using the road. You have to give them the right of way and you have to look put in consideration the speed at which they are coming. So because they have the right of way, they are coming on the high speed, you have to wait for them to pass before you enter the road. But the way the blue, the B one, which is the blue, the way it park, it is not the correct way to park in a place like this. Because these designs are meant for you to park exactly inside so that people will not be wasting the park. The parking space, sorry. Speculate retrovisory. I want to talk about this review very well. Again, when we talk about this speculate retrovisor, it's talking about this center mirror center mirror so this is the correct way to set a center mirror if you if if, if after setting your seat so you, you don't set center mirror before your seat because your seat has to be positioned where you are comfortable driving before you now set the center mirror setting center mirror you have to make sure that you are looking from the rear windscreen that's the rear glasses towards the back you are seeing it clearly that rear glasses is called uh, uh, lonuto lunento lunento it's called Lunetto. Then there's one thing people don't really know. I'm sorry. There's one thing that people really did not know about this rear mirror. The rear mirror have anti-flash and an anti abaliamento which is if you position anti-flash, if you are moving at night, the vehicle at behind you, the light will not be flashing on your eyes. So some have this button on and some you have to just tap the the mirror and you will not be seeing the vehicle but the flashlight will not be flashing on your eyes so i believe that is all i can say concerning this topic if you have any question just leave it in the comment section and i will address it so if and uh, very soon i will be starting up a new group for the another tutorial lessons for people that are interested in getting the italian driver's license so remember to like share subscribe and hit your notification bell Thank you. Bye.